Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Hey there. Have you ever heard the expression time is money? Well, time is actually much more than just money. It's a very valuable resource. You can spend it with friends or family or to explore the world around you. Now, we've learned some mighty math tricks so far that have helped us save time when solving problems. And rewriting an expression is another way to help save time by saving steps. Time to practice. Jenny just finished eating at a restaurant. The bill is $23.50 and she wants to add an 18% tip. So, what's the total for the bill? Let's see. To find 18% of the bill, we would need to multiply her total bill of $23.50 by the 18%. Now, we can set up the expression $23.50 multiplied by 18 hundredths. And once we find that amount, we'll need to add it to the $23.50 that we started with. This is like adding 18% to 100%. Why? Well, because if you think about it, the whole bill represents 100% of what Jenny has to pay. And the tip is 18% of that 100%. So the total plus the tip is 118%, or 118 hundredths as a fraction. Now when we finally turn it into a decimal, that's 1.18. So to find the final sum, we can combine these two terms and just multiply the bill by 1 and 18 hundredths. By rewriting the expression, we have made a two-step problem into a one-step problem. Fantastic! Ooh, look who it is, Will and Mia. Their favorite store is having a sale, and everything is 25% off. If an item's original price is represented by X, how can Will and Mia find what the discounted price is? Hmm, Will wants to find 25% off the item and then subtract that amount from the original price. And so he set up the expression x minus 25 hundredths times x. But Mia says you can just multiply the item's price by 75 hundredths. Well, if we have the item's full price, that is 100% of the price. And we're discounting here, or subtracting 25% of the cost. Now this gives us 75% of the item's original price. So it looks like both Mia and Will found different but correct ways to find the discounted price. Mia's expression saves a step though, and can save some time depending on the actual numbers. Way to go, Mia. All right, now, Will wants to purchase two pairs of socks for $3.25 each and two shirts for $12. Write two different expressions that represent the total amount that Will is going to spend on the items. What is the total amount he will spend? Oh, we can totally help with this. All right, let's start with the cost of the socks. So two multiplied by $3.25. Now we can find the cost of the shirts. Two multiplied by $12. Now we can add these amounts together and we have one expression. Look, there is a two that is being multiplied in both terms. And that means we can factor out a two from both terms. Now we have two times the quantity of $3.25 plus $12. And we have now made a second expression. The second expression looks like it could be quicker to solve. So let's use this one to find the total amount Will spent. $3.25 plus $12 is $15.25. And now we can multiply that by two to get $30.50. All right. Will spent $30.50 on those clothes. There are various ways to calculate two times $15.25. But since we're exploring ways to rewrite expressions to save time, how about breaking up the $15.25 into $15 plus 25 cents and then multiplying each term by two? I mean, it's really up to you which way you choose. The answer will always be the same. $30.50. Cool. Now back to Will and Mia. After Will and Mia finished shopping, they were comparing how much they spent. Will spent X amount in dollars, and Mia spent 15% more than Will. Which of the following expressions represents the amount Mia spent? Well, let's create an expression and compare it to the answers given. Mia spent 15% more than Will, 
So we need to start by finding 15% of the amount that we'll spend. And this can be represented by 15 hundredths multiplied by the variable x. Hey, look at that. That's one of the expressions given. Oh, we want to be careful though, because 15 hundredths multiplied by x represents only 15% of what Will spent and not the amount that Mia actually spent. So, we still need to add 0.15x to what Will spent, which we're calling x. Ooh, and we have a match. x plus 15 hundredths times x. But I bet I can rewrite this expression. We have 1x and we want to add another 15 hundredth x. So, 1 plus 15 hundredth is equal to 1 and 15 hundredths. But we can simplify this expression to 1 and 15 hundredths multiplied by x. Wonderful! There are two expressions that represent the amount Mia spent. B and E. Great work today! We were able to find equivalent expressions to help save time when solving problems. Sometimes there are multiple ways to solve a problem. When there are less steps needed to solve a problem, it'll take less time and we are less likely to make mistakes. With all that time we saved, we get some more time for sports now. And so I'm going to go out and train and I'll see you in the next lesson.